What is up, Shane Squad? How are you today? Hope you are having an awesome, amazing day. I didn't really get to do a lot yesterday because it was storming, it was raining outside. But today, it does look like it's really nice outside, but I do think it's freezing cold. I might try to bundle up and just go outside and see what I can get into. I honestly have no idea what I'm going to do, but I can always go try to find something and hopefully it's not cold enough that I can't handle it. I hate being cold. Today is the first day I took my other medication that I'm supposed to take. It's the boost bar or bus bar. I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce it, but today is the first day that I took it. If I seem a little weird, that's why, because I did take my Zoloft and then I'm taking the boost bar. I'm just going to say boost bar. I'm on two medications today. I don't know how any of the side effects are going to bother me. If I end up feeling weird or anything, I will let everyone know. Jen goes to work today, so Jen won't be able to hang out with me, unfortunately. I can't wait till the weather starts getting warm, like springtime, summertime, so that way, as soon as I wake up, it's actually really nice outside. I don't have to worry about it being cold, but I know around the springtime, it's, it's gonna be more rainy. That's the only thing that sucks about springtime. Look how much my facial hair is growing in. It's growing in so much. My hair is all a mess right now. I tried to fix it and comb it, but it's not doing anything. So I guess I'm gonna have a little bit of crazy hair today. How are you today? I'm good. I'm tired. You look tired. I look tired? Mm-hmm. I feel tired. And I have a headache. I need to take some for that too. But I haven't. Why? I don't know. I've been watching TikToks. <laughs> I'm gonna open the back door to see how actually how cold it is outside. So that way I can know how I should dress. I mean, it's not that cold. I hear a cat fight. But it's honestly not that cold. It, it's chilly, but it's not like, bleh, like where I can't stand it. But look at this, the sun's shining and everything. It's not as cold as I was expecting it to be outside. Is it where you still need a jacket? Yeah. <laughs> is he supposed to be Michael Myers or is his face painted? That's Michael Myers as Shakira. Myers? Oh, yeah. Michael <laughs> Myers as Shakira. I am switching back over to the flip up camera. It is acting up right now, but I noticed when I was recording, well, when I was editing the vlog, that it was still filming, even though my camera was all acting up. I'm gonna go out and do something for today's vlog so that way I can enjoy a little bit of the sunshine. Can't wait till warm weather. I know this little part over here at Ritter Park, but it's not exactly at Ritter Park. It's on the trail of Ritter Park and there's like a little tiny park. I was thinking about going there and maybe play on the playground if there is no kids there. Cause every time I seem to go to the park, there always seems to be some kids there. So. We're gonna to try to go to the little tiny one and hopefully there will be no kids there. <laughs> it looks like it would be beautiful outside, but beautiful but freezing. I was gonna cut across the train tracks, but there's a train going by, so I can't go there. So I have to go up this way. I might have to get my gloves out of my backpack because my fingers are so cold right now. That's probably what I'm gonna do. There we go. Now my fingers can be a lot warmer. But where I took that medicine, so far I don't really feel anything. I kind of feel like the way I've been feeling when I take the Zoloft. I do notice I don't really have as much side effects besides my muscles and stuff twitching. And I'm not as tired as Zoloft was making me. I do notice that every now and then I will continue to be yawning. So maybe it's sort of easing down. Where I took that boost bar, I don't really feel anything. The doctor also said it could take up to one to two weeks for it to actually start feeling, doing something to my body. So I just had to keep taking it every single day. I apologize about yesterday's vlog. It was really short and I didn't really pick up the camera a lot. The whole reason why I tried the boost bar today is because yesterday I felt like I didn't take my medicine. But as you guys know, when I started taking Zoloft, it instantly gave me that energy, that boost that I've been wanting. I actually felt happy. And then, yesterday I took Zoloft, 
like I do every morning for the past week. And I just feel like I didn't even take it. Like I don't feel anything. And today I took my Zoloft and I still feel that same way that I did not take it. So that's the whole reason why I tried the Buse Bar today. Cause maybe that Buse Bar would, you know, help or do something. But like I said earlier, I don't feel anything from the Buse Bar. I don't feel anything from the Zoloft anymore. And I noticed that, that my body does that a lot. And that's the whole reason why I stopped taking a lot of medication in the past, because my body will get used to the medication and then stop working, like completely. So then I would have to find a new medication and start all over. And that's basically what the Zoloft just did. I feel like that's what the Zoloft is trying to do. My body is trying to basically become immune to it. And it's so annoying because that's the whole reason why I stopped taking medication before. And I think that's the reason why I didn't feel that way yesterday because yesterday I was good in the beginning, like when I first took it. And then once after like my doctor's appointment and everything, I started feeling depressed. The Zoloft does help with the voices. I don't hear the voices at all but I think it's just not helping with my, my moods. It's not keeping me happy or having that boost that it was giving me in the beginning. Yesterday, I just felt so depressed and I don't even know what I'm sad about. And today, I sort of feel that way and I didn't even want to get up and go outside. I just wanted to just sit in a room and do nothing. So, but right now, I'm basically forcing myself to go outside and do something so maybe I can get that motivation and get out of that depressed mode. I just wish I knew what was going on right now. I've been on the Ritter Park Trail and I'm trying to find where the little park that I'm looking for is. I believe it's on up, so I have a quite a few ways to go. It's one of them rocks. You make my heart pop. That is so cute. I can't really read that. I ended up taking a picture of this, of where I seen it, and then I'm gonna take it and put it somewhere else. Snap the photo of it, now I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna stick it somewhere else. And we're gonna see if somebody else will find it. I might take it a few ways up this way. A while ago, I found one of those things that I just found, and I laid it on this big structure. I don't know if it's still there or not, but I think, I'm thinking about putting this one over there as well. Something looks really different here. I think the last time I was here, there was a bunch of bushes right here. And now the bushes are gone. And the rock that I set, I set it right here. So I don't see it anywhere. So I think somebody actually found it. I'm going to take this one. I'm going to sit in the same spot. If it'll stay. It's probably too fat. Uh, that might stay. It should stay right there. So if you come to this area, take a picture of where you found it. And then when you take it, go hide it somewhere else. I still love this. I love the way it looks. I love the structure of it. I'm looking around to see if they maybe moved the rock and put it somewhere else. But I don't see it. It was a green and black one. For the people that's probably new to my vlog, I'll end up giving you a full look of this big structure. Look how huge. And this is what it looks like. I'm really close to the park. The park that I'm looking for is right up here. I'm just hoping that there's no kids. I've been wanting to go to a park, play around on the playground for so long. And every time I go, there's always some kids that either show up or there's already kids there. I know a park and a playground is supposed to be for kids, but I see myself as a kid. I'm just a 30 year old with a child's mind. They have this little exercise machine. <laughs> the seat is made out of wood. Oh, that part's made out of wood too. Look how rusted it is. <laughs> well, this is one way to get some exercise. To improve strength and flexibility in calf's thighs via cardio exercise. It literally tells you instructions of what to do. How would somebody not know what to do on this? Obviously you get on it and you ride it like a bike. I guess there is people that don't know how to ride a bike. But to me, it, it seems like common sense. You sit on it and you pedal it. As what I'm seeing from right here, it looks like there's a couple of people over here at the playground. Uh, maybe they'll leave by the time I get up there. Look, here's another little exercise thing. This one, I guess you just work your arms. Twist, rolling, 
Rolling down the river. I don't know why that song came to my mind when doing this, but okay. It's like a huge fidget spinner. It's like a huge giant fidget spinner. This one, I can see why you would need instructions because you don't know what exactly what you're supposed to do with it. Stand firmly with knees slightly bent with each hand. Move the knobs in opposite directions repeatedly. Look at this. I guess there used to be a bridge right here, but there's no longer a bridge. They don't even have it blocked off to where nobody can just... Right here's the playground and those people actually left. But imagine if a child was running around and they ran over here and they just ran up these stairs and then literally just fell. Like, look at this. <laughs> they would fall. I'm gonna call this the steps of death. That's basically what it'd be, the, the steps of death. Wonder why they took this bridge down. Unless it was either broke or... But it looks like there's like paths up there. Yes, those people left, so I have the whole park to myself. Finally, I can go play on the park. I know there's not really much at this one, but they even have a little bathroom. That's cool. They need to do this with every park. Just put like little bathrooms and everything. Oh, they have swings. There's a slide. Well, I think this thing spins. It does. A little rock climbing. Cool, this one's like a big donut. I want to swing. I'm almost too short for this one. My feet don't even touch the ground. I had to hop onto the swing. <laughs> oh, it feels so nice to just swing. Swing, 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 swing. My mom always told me that I used to fall asleep in this little swing that they used to hang up on the porch. It was on my grandma's porch. And I would sit in it all the time and swing in it. And that's how I'd fall asleep. And every time I got into that swing, I would end up falling asleep. It's starting to get colder, so I won't be able to stay here very long. But I won't go down the slide. Let me try that again. My shoes kept getting stuck. <laughs> that was fun. Whew. It made me dizzy though. I never went down a slide before and it made me dizzy. That was weird. I wonder if this thing's open. So gross in here. God, there's a freaking condom wrapper right there. Ew, the condom is right there. That's so gross. Why would anybody go into a bathroom like that and do anything? Like, that's so gross. I don't even sit on fully on the toilet. I just like hover over it. Even like when I go to public bathrooms, I never sit down on the toilet. I'll always stand over top of it. You never know who sits on that. It's just gross. There's a train. I haven't vlogged since I got back home. Jen is now home, but she's gonna be making some food. Her friend from work ended up giving her a Peeps Pepsi so we could try it. And I'm pretty excited because I've been wanting to try this Peeps Pepsi. Jen's home. Hi. And she's gonna make some breakfast. <laughs> At night. That's when breakfast food is the best. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look, the kitty. She's been going in and out of our room. I think she's trying to get the smells and everything. What are you doing? Huh? Now Jim's making the sausage. Okay, so this is the Peeps Pepsi. I'm excited. <laughs> I don't know if I can drink Pepsi yet or not, though. That's my thing. It smells really weird. It's 
It's really good, but weird. <laughs> yeah, it's like a... I don't know how to explain it. It just... It tastes... It, it tastes like a peep. It tastes like a marshmallow. Yeah, basically marshmallow. Marshmallow with Pepsi. It's so good. I keep the can. Okay. <laughs> Pepsi peeps, well, the yellow one is at least a yes. Oh my god, it's really good. I like it. This is what the can looks like. This Pepsi peeps. Imagine if you took a drink of Pepsi and then you took a bite of marshmallow. That's basically what it would taste like. So I wonder what the blue ones would taste like. I don't know, but this is actually really good. I love this. Let's see if Gabrielle will like it. Oh, she don't like it. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> I think it tastes good. I like it. It's like, it's like a mixer. It would definitely be good with alcohol. <laughs> I like it. Like Pepsi and marshmallows. That's gross. Isn't it so cool? No, it's not. That's an abomination. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so that Pepsi Peeps is a definitely a yes to me. So if you have not tried the Pepsi Peeps, I really recommend it. But obviously Gabrielle doesn't like it. Some people's not going to like it and some people are, but I really like it. I think it's pretty good and I honestly cannot wait to try the blue one. I imagine with the blue one because the blue Peeps is my favorite. It also tastes like caramel to me. Caramel? That's weird. Everybody said it was really sweet though. Everybody was like, it's too sweet. Here you go, you have lots of pieces. No, you can have it. No, you like it. It's okay, just drink it. I'm gonna feel that. Oh god. Just drink you it. You can take at least another sip. I'm gonna feel that. But well, alright guys, that's gonna be the end of the vlog. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to smash that thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Make sure to turn my post notifications on so you never miss a new video. And make sure to stay positive and never give up. I will see you guys tomorrow.